Welcome to Bitfumes. This is Golang tutorial and now let's talk about the methods in Go. So we have discussed about the struct. Let's get back the cat struct. So here we have a cat struct which is having a name as a string and sound as a string. So I'm creating a new cat and giving the name as few and sound as meow. Let's print this out. So if I run this, yeah, we have this uh, few and meow and now here we can proceed with the method. So methods is exactly similar to the functions. So to create a method, I will simply write func and then name of the method which is info. But the difference between the function and a method is that a method has a receiver. So this is a weird syntax. You have probably not seen this, but here we can simply say C as cat. And now I can say that this is a method. Why this is a method? Because now we have given a receiver to this method, info method. This means this struct on this method. So what I can do, I can simply say fmt.println and here I can say name of cat is percentage s and then and sounds like again percentage s and then c dot name and c dot sound cool so now i just need to call this method how we can call because as i told you this struct now on this method this means i can simply say c dot info Actually, this is not C, it's, it's uh, my cat dot info and parenthesis. So if I run this, you can see the name of cat is percentage. Actually, it's not Alan, it's F, then it will replace percentage S. And now the name of cat is few and sounds like meow. Okay, so this is very nice. One more thing you can do, you can return everything from here. So I can say return. And then we just need to concatenate so we can simply concatenate with the plus sign c dot sound comes here and then we have a c dot name here and one more concatenation comes here like this and then we need to use this double quotes and now it's giving error because we are returning something and we have not defined the return type so to define the return type it's exactly similar with the function we just need to say after this name of the method we just need to say we have the string as a return type now we don't have any squiggly lines this means error is gone and because this is returning this string we need to print this string so we can cut this my cat dot info and put it inside this print statement this means now if I run you can see we have a same result as before and we can give a simple space here to give a clear picture and now we have a cat with few and sounds like meow okay so I think you got what is method how to use it how to use it with struct and what is the role of struct in method in the next episode we are going to talk about the interface the coolest thing of Golang so we will meet in the next episode till then hit like button to this video subscribe to this channel like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram linkedin we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye